I love a good bushy smushing brush for blending and stippling. My favorite so far is the Rosemary & Co smushing brush in medium. It's perfect for adding glazes over an underpainting, softening edges or stippling brush strokes. Your typical bristle or synthetic oil painting brush just doesn't have quite the same cushiony soft touch necessary for some of these effects. I've been using this brush in areas I want to be more transparent and luminescent, like the skin or for photorealist blurry effects, like here in the background of my painting. You could also load the brush with dry pigment for scumbling techniques. And really you can use this brush for any type of painting, not just oils. I also have a couple of the small size for blending really detailed edges. These smooshing brushes are made with badger hair, so if you're looking to use only vegan art materials, you should find an alternative synthetic mop or stippling brush. Although badger hair is more plentiful than other types of hairs that go into making paintbrushes. Actually, badger hair has been used by painters since the old masters. This is mainly because badger hair has quite a unique shape. It's strong and snappy, and thinner at the base and wider at the tip, which gives them a unique bushy feel. This is why they're still used for many speciality brushes. So I wouldn't call this a universal, necessary or basic brush that everybody can get use out of. But if you're looking to achieve certain effects, it's really been purpose designed for these sorts of mark making. The Rosemary & Co smooshing brush does have some stray or splayed hairs, which is to be expected. This isn't a detail brush and it's designed to be bushy, but using it so far, it's very good quality and it doesn't drop bristles as you use it, which is something that you can find in some cheaper stippling brushes. I'm so happy that I actually purchased this brush because it far outperforms what I used to use for this type of effects, which was a worn down and splayed synthetic sable brush, which was great for just pushing paint into the surface of the canvas, but had a lot more of a scratchy feel to it. I also find that it's more solid and dense than my Princeton Scumbler Speciality Brush, which has an even greater soft and bushy feel. The advantage of the Princeton brush is it's great for almost an airbrushing, blowing out effect, which is useful for removing any brush strokes or creating atmospheric edges. Essentially, it's best for blending and softening the paint already on the canvas, and then the rosemary brush has a denser body that makes it slightly better for loading new paint and for stippling effects for painting things like clouds or other features. So even though these two brushes are designed for similar effects, I find that I use them both for different things. Basically what I've learned is really you can do all your painting with a good range of bristle or synthetic brushes, but when it comes to speciality mark making, it's just best to go with the brushes designed for that function as long as you can afford to do so. And the rosemary smooshing brushes are relatively cheap in comparison to some other paint brushes. And my smooshing brush is really becoming a fast favorite of mine.